Are we seriously starting this vlog right now? We are. Oh, it's happening. Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the 1989 Taylor's version release vlog. I can't believe I'm saying that. It happens so fast and when I tell you I have never been more emotional for a Taylor re-record, I am telling you that straight up because this one has me in tears and shambles thinking about it. I cannot imagine what the feelings I'm going to have at midnight when I get to relive the album that made all my dreams come true. <sighs> Those memories that I made during the original 1989 era will forever follow me around. It will be the story that I tell when I'm in the nursing home and I'll be telling it to all the nurses about how Taylor Swift sent me Christmas presents and I met Taylor Swift and how she made that happen for us and not a day goes by that I don't think about those moments and how I craved for years to have a sense of community in my life um, where I tried for friendships but I didn't feel like they validated me as much as I validated them. Then I met my Taylor friends and my whole world changed. I had friends running to me and screaming when I met them and I suddenly had friends and a sense of community that I'd never felt before. So this era is incredibly, incredibly important to me. I could not say it more if I tried. So get buckled up because this is probably going to be long. This is probably going to be me being very emotional. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to cry in this vlog. <laughs> Somebody should do a cry count, but anyways, I just want to go ahead and intro it. I do I went to the grocery store and then I came home and I took a power nap I have to be honest and then I went and got a coffee But I did go to the grocery store and I got white cookie frosting Sparkle gel blue and Then some sanding sugars blue pastel sprinkles and you know why I'm gonna show you I'm so excited. I bought a seagull cookie cutter on Amazon um, a couple days ago and I decided I'm gonna make cookies and uh, I'm just I'm just so excited. Um, something I need to do I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat dinner and then I think I'm gonna go shower and I also need to pick out my release day outfit because I didn't know the weather's been like warm here. It's been cold here. I don't know what to wear here. Um, like I feel like I changed my outfit like twice a day and I'm not even kidding. Like um, in the morning it's chilly and then during the day it's like warm and then at night it gets chilly. Like what's happening? Um, it's just like all over the place and like every time I step outside it feels different. So in conclusion, I don't know what I'm wearing tomorrow and I'm gonna have to get your opinion that you can't tell me until after I upload this. But anyways, we're gonna celebrate together. I am so stoked and I can't believe it's here, but I'm so excited it's here. You're probably wondering, Rachel, what are you eating for dinner? I'm eating pasta and marinara with zucchini in it. Um, and I've decided that I don't know if this is gonna go good or bad because I might be sobbing into my pasta marinara um, with zucchini here in a couple seconds, but I've decided I'm gonna watch old um, Taylor 1989 interviews. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do while I eat my dinner and I'm going to drink some water because let me tell you, tears will be shed tonight. I already know that, so. Now in my closet as you can see and if you're wondering yes I did start crying um, because I watched Taylor on um, Jimmy Fallon and then I watched her on um, like the Yahoo live stream and I heard her say this album is called 1989 and the floodgates opened anyways by the way the from the vault collection of merch um, my bank account was toast after that um again thank goodness I had saved because when I tell you um yeah yeah that was probably uh, there wasn't one thing I didn't want okay. always knew how to push my buttons 
but yeah, um, I'm going to try a couple things on and I'll see what I can figure out here. I just bought these black ankle boots and they're tall and they look very 1989. And I didn't do that on purpose, surprisingly, but then I put them on my feet and I'm like, oh, Miss Swift Core. Um, but anyways, yeah. Did I just, I literally just almost pulled you guys over. That's nice. Um, I'm going to try a couple things on, let you know what I think, and I'm going to shower. I'm going to get comfy, and then I think we're going to make some cookies. So this is the exact top that Taylor wore when I met her. I'm kind of liking this because it's like, yeah, I could definitely still wear this. Um, I got this in 2015 for Christmas, and let me tell you, it's a little... A little tied up here now. However, I think it's passable. Maybe that's my delusion. All right, you guys. I am clean like track 13 on 1989 Taylor's version. Anyways, um, I got these pajamas and I'm showing them to you like this because these pajamas are very special to me. Um, I found them on Target and I knew I had to have them for this release and in general because they very much look like the pajamas that Taylor had from White Fox um, that she was wearing when she packed my Christmas gifts. Insert picture here of the Polaroid and um, so I needed them. Anyways, I've got a cookie cutter. Emma's calling me. I've got a white cookie icing, sprinkles, glitter icing, and... A dream we're gonna make some seagull cookies also record stores are being sus and they're saying that they have a release at 1201 and um, mine messaged me earlier to let me know about this and I don't know what to do with myself so there's also that <laughs> guys why are none of my friends answering me oh. Natalie don't mind me Natalie what? Did you see that Taylor Nation just absolutely out of nowhere quote tweeted my tweet from earlier of us? Wait, they did? Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I have the first round of seagulls ready. Um, that was the first one I did. I rolled the dough way too thin, but I feel like they're looking, they'll look cuter once I decorate them. Um, they're kind of messy because I was trying to figure out how to like, because the arms are so, or the wings I should say are so fragile. Um, so it was kind of like hard to cut them out. So I'd like roll the dough and then put it on here and then cut it out with like a knife. Anyways, they're going to go in and then I have a little bit of dough left. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. So here are the cookies. I have a little bit of dough left over. I think I'm going to go and do it again. Um, this took me way longer than it should have. Um, Emma is so valid for saying that. Um, but I'm going to let these cool... And then, oh, I guess we'll decorate them. I'm kind of scared too, because they're small, but it's okay. Hi, hello, welcome to the 1038 update. I am FaceTiming Emma, and we're making friendship bracelets. Um, what else would we be doing? So I haven't decided if I'm gonna frost those cookies because they're very fragile. Um, anyways, so I've decided that I'm going to, I have these beads that kind of like resemble the variant colors. Like I have blue, pink, yellow, um, orange. So I thought it would be cute to like make stack bracelets of, um, everything Taylor had called me during the 1989 era, like sincere, um, brighten my day, lighten my load, like all the little things that she said to me. Um, and called me I thought it would be cute to like make like a variation bracelet bracelets so that's what I'm doing right now being emotional um, yeah that is that's the 1039 update concluded yeah um, well they're a little overcooked and they're also very like fragile which is I think why they cracked a little bit I'm not a pro baker at all um but i think i am gonna try and decorate them <laughs> i finished my cookies <laughs> um yep mm -hmm. they're um, something um they're special they're homemade not really except i didn't make the dough um we're gonna try one 
I put the the cute ones on another plate. These just look like a mess. We're just gonna. Oh my god, y'all. I don't eat, I don't recommend eating this. Um, if you guys were over right now, I would not hand you this. That's trifling. <laughs> That's bad. Um, um, like, like we tried. We tried, right? It was, it was thought that counted, but, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Well, there's certainly something. Hi. So, not to be absolutely dramatic, but 1989 is seven minutes now from coming home. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about the first time that I ever listened to this album and how excited I was exactly nine years ago. At this time, I was sitting down, so excited to listen to 1989 for the first time. We're about to listen to 1989, but make it Taylor's version. The right person is going to own it. And if you had told me that, Rachel, you're going to make so many beautiful memories during this era, that was a no-brainer but those memories are gonna include you finding your best friends in the entire world. They're gonna stand by you. You're gonna get so much love from those people. You're gonna get to scream about Taylor whenever you want to them because they'll listen to you. You're going to meet Taylor Swift and not only are you going to meet her, but she's going to she's going to make that happen for you and she's going to send you Christmas presents. If you told me 9 years ago, right now, that any of that was going to happen, I wouldn't have believed you. But 9 years now, I sit here. This is my first time ever listening to a Taylor album in my apartment. It's a new place, a new soundtrack for me. If you had told me that I would be staring at my photo with Taylor, if you told me that I would have my Polaroid that Taylor Swift took with me in mind to put in my Christmas package, I wouldn't know what to say to you. If you said, Rachel, the moment you turn 18, you're going to get a tattoo of the heart that Taylor drew on your envelope for your Christmas card, the gifts that she handpicked for you, she wrote you a note too, I would have been flabbergasted and I would have been excited, but I wouldn't have believed it. And I still sit here and I'm like, I don't believe what I'm saying, but this album has touched my heart in so many different ways and I'm not trying to be dramatic but I love celebrating Taylor this one is incredibly special to me this one is the album that made all my dreams come true like meeting Taylor getting to hug this girl meant everything to me and still does like I Look at this picture every single day, and it's my favorite, my favorite story. And to think that she just went so out of her way for me as a fan. The first time I listened to 1989, I had no idea what was to come, but I'm so glad that I have this story to tell. So, 1989 is coming home. It's still not up, but Taylor just posted. My name is Taylor and I was born in 1989. <laughs>
<laughs> Stop, I love her so much. I was born in 1989, reinvented. <laughs> First time in 2014 and a part of me was reclaimed in 2023 with the re-release of this album I love so dearly. <laughs> wildest dreams did I imagine the magic he would sprinkle in my life for so long. This moment is a reflection of the woods we've wandered through all this love between us still growing in the darkest dark. I present to you with my gratitude and wildest wonder my version of 1989 has been waiting for you. Guys, I have to be honest. I have gotten through Welcome to New York and Blank Space and I am itching. Itching to listen to The Vault. I think I'm gonna jump to The Vault. I have to, I have to know what Slut sounds like. That was not what I was expecting, but oh my God. It's so like vibey and smooth, like. Oh God. Say don't go. This one intrigued me. I've known it from the very start Now that we don't talk Like the Red Sea don't even get me started Did you get me dog? Oh Okay. That was slay. Excuse me. She went there. What is it over now? Like, I, I felt like I was frozen listening to all those. But, like, oh, my God. First of all, now that we don't talk, and is it over now, I think are my top two right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew. She said... Damn, she served. She said, point me, you have nothing to say. With the hella good hair, would you come on up and big and big and Yeah! Okay. I just finished listening to 1989 Taylor's version in full. I listened to the vault twice. I literally got up. I was sitting here just like kind of like listening and then I got up and I straightened my hair as we can tell. Um, and I was just like vibing. Like this album is just so nostalgic. It brings me back every single time I listen to it to when I was 15 years old. Ugh. She wrote 150 songs for 1989 and for her, to feel so compelled to share those five new songs with us means that they hold a special place in her heart. And I'm just so grateful that she um, she put them out. And the, the music for the songs that we already knew like sounds so fresh and so crisp and so like, like it's our same 1989 that we've always loved but it just has like this new like it got fresh paint and it's just brand new again and it's just I'm obsessed and I always will be and this memory is at the forefront of my head every single time I hit play on 1989 and the memories and 
whew, I am, I'm telling you what, I have never, this is just emotional for me <laughs> to like reflect on. So tomorrow, no, today I will be going to Target. It is 1.45. I have got to go to bed. Like I have to. <laughs> I have to get a couple hours of sleep, but oh my God. I do believe it's time to go bring 1989 home. Let me just tell you guys, I have been so emotional listening to this album today because yes, it's new, but it is just reliving all those memories. Like, I can't believe I'm wearing the exact shirt that Taylor was wearing when I met her. I can't believe I'm packing my purse to go get the album with the purse that she gave me and like yeah I'm gonna be extra and bring this like it's just crazy to me that I got to hug her during this era and I met so many of my friends and my heart is just so full you guys like listening to this and like I'm in love with the vault tracks like I didn't think I wouldn't be like Taylor doesn't put out a bad song but you know what I'm saying like I'm just it's so full circle it's so meaningful. Anyways, I am gonna go get 1989 Taylor's version. What are we doing, Grandma? Are we going to buy Taylor's new album? Yeah. I see it. It's in my hand. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey there, Taylor. Hey there, Taylor. Okay, so the tangerine and the four Target editions have been secured. They have the posters. The one on the website comes with the Polaroids. So your girl needed all of them for her collection. Anyways, they're chilling in the back, but we're in route to my record store that I love with all my heart. Um, we're driving a bit to get there, but um, they have a Crystal Skies vinyl on hold for me, and the rest of the vinyls are on the way from Taylor's website, so. The Crystal Skies one is the last one that I need, like, you know, to complete the collection, and I'm so excited. Bestie girl. That's how I feel. Okay, so I am home, and I have six copies of 1989 Taylor's version in my possession right now, and that is not counting the three more vinyls that are coming from her website the aquamarine, the uh, Rose Garden, and the Sunrise Boulevard um, vinyls. And then all the blue, pink, yellow, green copies of the CDs from her website are coming, but those have the Polaroids. The ones I got tonight have the posters in them with the original lyrics. So I thought it'd be fun to close out this video and show you everything I got. So, this is, I am so happy that 1989 is home. And look at this album cover. It's my favorite Taylor album cover. Taylor is always so creative with her album covers, but this one is just, I love her smile like nothing else. Like, all the others are such good concepts, but like her smile, it just shines so bright. And so, this is the Crystal Skies one. This one I opened in the car because I just wanted to see it for myself. This is what the gatefold looks like and it is a I was going to try and hold it, but anyways. Um, so, this is what it looks like. And then Be very careful this is probably the one I'll spin um, this is the crystal skies again it's just like this um, I actually haven't looked on the other side so let's see 
Um, but 1989 coming home, as I've reiterated, oh God, I hate when I do that. Um, as I've said like 5,000 times in this vlog, but seriously, like to see the impact like Taylor's had on so many lives and like, um, I feel like a lot of people, like I see so many people like that I've known for so many years, like online, like posting their pictures, like, you know, with 1989 Taylor's version and next to it, um, 1989. And it's just like crazy to think like how long I've known these people and how long we've all loved Taylor and the memories, like, I can't even begin to describe like how this album just takes me back in time like it just it's such a timeless album that always sounds so brand new every single time like you put it on and it's just such a flawless album I don't know how Taylor made such a perfect album more perfect like it's just kind of insane um I will forever be celebrating this album and I'll forever be celebrating Taylor but like seriously this one is one that I have, I can't fathom it. Like, even like thinking about reliving it, like right now, like as I'm reliving it, it's like insane to think and insane to like say, yeah, Taylor like sent me Christmas presents during this era and I met Taylor and just like seeing like, like the old um, Polaroids and like the outtakes and stuff that have been coming out for like merch and like, um, the packets in general, like, it's just crazy to think, like, oh my god, like, we're reliving all those memories right now, and, um, I love Taylor so much, it's the synopsis, and as you guys can tell, as I bawled my eyes out last night, um, you guys know that this, this one meant a lot to me. Oh my god, that is, like, the most gorgeous picture of Taylor. Um, it's literally, oh wait, is that not the same one? No, um, it's very similar, but it's gorgeous. Um, that's what that looks like, and it's just the other side, so, uh, okay. That is the Crystal Skies. Now, I will, oh, ooh, I'll fix her. Just, um, let's see. I did get a couple Christmas decorations. Um, look how cute this deer is three dollars and then three dollars a little like oh my god okay so I spent more than I should have in Target but and then a little gingerbread sleigh like it's gonna look so cute just wait till I decorate um and then I did buy a new hair clip because I liked it anyways um we will now go back to the reg regular scheduled programming which is Miss Swift I just want to show you what else I got at Target who doesn't love like a good Target haul, you know? Um, okay. So, this is, I think it's gonna have like the same pictures and everything inside, but it has um, Sweeter Than Fiction, which I will forever, I'm so excited. Like this is probably, ooh, I'm gonna spin this one. Yeah, because I wanna hear Sweeter Than Fiction, Taylor's version. Um, I will never forget when Taylor did the One Chance movie and had that soundtrack, like, all of us scurrying to Tumblr to, like, try and find, like, a muffled MP3 of Sweeter Than Fiction, and it's always been one of those songs, like, I think, of, like, loving Taylor, like, um, like, There You'll Stand Ten Feet Tall, I will say I knew it all along, like, how we're all, like, cheering for her, and I think to have it on 1989 is, like, so nostalgic and special because um you know she made such a transition from it was her first documented pop album and we stood there and we celebrated it and we just cheered her on and like we knew she could do it and we've stuck by her through all of it like now looking back on it it's really special because like you know 2016 happened and you know there was so much on and then she didn't tour for five years because the pandemic and we've just always been there can I show you guys something real quick? Totally off topic. Um, I have to show you my socks and it's just because I'm excited about them and they're so on brand for today. But they're seagulls eating french fry socks. I just thought they were cute. Anyways, um, so yeah, Sweeter Than Fiction is such a special song. Okay, so it's the same like inside. Let's look at the orange though, or the tangerine. 
Oh. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, she's really pretty. Oh, that one's gonna look gorgeous spinning. And like I said, I wanna hear sweeter than fiction. So, definitely, okay. So on to the CDs. Uh, like I said, it's the Crystal Skies and same back. And ta-da, the disc is so gorgeous. Look at her, okay. And then it comes with like the, the little lyric booklet or the, and this one is Welcome to New York. Oh my God. <gasps> and it has the poster. Oh wait, okay. It's Taylor eating her ice cream and Welcome to New York. Like her original like handwritten lyrics. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna look. Um, I'm gonna look through this because I haven't, oh, it has the prologue. That's so cute. Yeah, that is just so, so stunning. She's so cutie. I love her. Okay, so that is the Crystal Skies. So in the Target one, it comes with um, Taylor eating ice cream and um, Welcome to New York on the back for the for the little um, poster that comes with it. Okay. Okay. Next up, we're gonna do Sunrise Boulevard because why not? Um, I'd say after. That's a really hard, that's a toss up. I think after the original cover, like the main Crystal Skies cover, I think my favorite's the Rose Garden. I don't know, I love them all though. Like I love how she changes it up, like even the back's different. Oh, look at that. I cannot wait to get the vinyls. The vinyls are gonna be stunning. Um, so this one, That's so cute. This one is Wildest Dreams. It has like the little lyrics. That's so cute. Oh my God. She always makes releases so fun. Like I started weeping earlier. Like I ran out to get lunch and I was weeping in my car to like, I wanna say it was like, say don't go or something like, like it was one of the vault tracks. And like, I was just, I started like crying because like I am so grateful to like make these memories with Taylor and like continue to like have like like album releases are just always so fun like the energy like the serotonin like you know there's just this spark that like lights up inside you um thinking about like the aspect of like oh my god we have new Taylor music and oh my god like we've just been on this journey with her and like to think about like the journey that we've been on um and like everything is just so crazy and every time she does a re-recording like i think of like the journey like oh my god you know it's just crazy and i'm so proud of her for literally like reclaiming what's hers and she doesn't just do that like she makes it so much fun for like all of us um and you know exciting and how can i i love like how she re does like little things from each era like she started posting lyrics um a couple days before for the vault tracks and she did that the first go around for 1989 and 2014 and i just love how she incorporates excuse me i have the hiccups um little niche things like that like it just makes me so happy and it just always brings those memories right back around and so it's just she makes them so much fun the pink one oh my god so this one is, oh, New Romantics. Oh my God. That is such a gorgeous picture of her. And then we have the lyrics. Oh my God, she is the most gorgeous human being. Like, I, I don't even care if like I'm biased saying that, like she is the most gorgeous human being on the face of the earth. Okay. 
Last one we have to open is aquamarine green. Okay. So this is the cover of that one and the back. I love that cover. Oh, my God. oh that sounded crunchy. Okay, and then we have green and let's see. Oh, this is Wonderland. These are the lyrics to Wonderland, the original. Um. <gasps> oh my God. She's, she's stunning. Okay, and then I do have to admit, okay, cause this was, um, these kind of photos came out, this round of photos with her striped sweater came out when Wildest Dreams, Taylor's version came out in 2021. Um, so let me let me tell you about that real quick um, to wrap up this vlog and just how 1989 continued to mean so much to me. So I haven't really told the story and um, I it, it was something so personal I went through. I mean, I've talked about me getting in a car accident, but not like the depth of like my Taylor connection um, to it. and the meaning it had to me. So, um, on September 10th, 2021, I got in a really bad car accident and it was not my fault. I want to completely disclaim that it was not my fault. Um, I was T-boned, um, by a distracted driver and, um, yeah, my car was totaled. Anyways, so I was coming across an intersection and I was listening to Welcome to New York by Taylor, of course by Taylor. Um, and I, when I got hit, I was listening to Welcome to New York and it was um, the bridge and um, I didn't find out till hours later that it was I, I didn't remember, like I remembered like right before I went through the intersection before it happened, um, I was listening to Welcome to New York, like the sunroof was open, I was having such a good day, the light turned green, I went and then my accident happened. Um, and I looked down at my phone like hours later after my accident um, and when I was starting to like collect my thoughts and it was paused on Welcome to New York. The music had stopped, the aux had stopped on Welcome to New York. Um, so yeah, getting to hear it re-recorded last night was really meaningful to me because it felt like for a while there, like I I was scared, like when I started like driving again, when I was, got my new car, like I just felt almost like there was like that attachment to it, but it, it, it turned into the most beautiful attachment of letting go for me. Um, another connection to 1989, um, in relation to that, um, a week after my accident, I, it was a Friday when the accident happened and so it was a week after and I just, you know, a week had gone by and you, you're, it's so in the forefront of your brain, like, oh my god, it's been a week since this happened to me. Um, cause time kind of seemed like it stood still, like it was really hard to wrap around why that happened to me. Um, anyways, so I was very much like in just like this headspace of, I knew it would be at the forefront of my brain. I was literally getting ready for the day and I looked down at my phone and Taylor had released Wildest Dreams because it had been trending on TikTok and so she wanted to release her version and it was so out of the blue but when Taylor says you showed up just in time like it just always seems like this she's looking out for me and I know that's silly to say but like I was weeping in my floor for a completely different reason than feeling scared or overwhelmed about what had happened to me a week prior. It turned into, oh my god, like I'm so grateful. Um, I literally like filmed my reaction. I remember I ran and got my camera because I was just so excited. Um, and I was like, I'm just, I've been through it. And like, so 
so if you watch that video now you know why I was saying that but um it just it's really special to me how Taylor always is just it's always her and I just feel like she's my comfort and my person and um another another aspect of that was um that morning I had put on a fearless necklace and something was just telling me to put that necklace on that day and for me when I put that necklace on that morning I was just like oh my gosh like this looks really cute with my top and let me tell you hours later when I looked down and I saw that I was wearing my fearless necklace I wept and wept when I figured out that I was wearing my fearless necklace and I had gone through that like it, it just always what I'm trying to say here is I didn't mean to go all dark but I'm just so grateful for Taylor and so thankful that I just have a safety net like that and um so yeah that's another reason why 1989 means so much to me continued from the memories that I made you know in the original era those are some recent memories that um really are substantial to me like Welcome to New York really just became such a healing song for me um and then you know Wildest Dreams Taylor's version came out at the perfect time <sighs> I'm emotional I can't thank you guys enough for watching this and listening to me and these re-recordings are so incredibly special to me because I get a chance to reflect on the memories that I made and 1989 was the most beautiful story that like I said I'll forever tell um I still don't know how this to this day Taylor decided to choose me but I'm so happy that she did and if you told 2015 2014 Rachel in the original era um that she would get to relive this era but be surrounded by the same friends um a couple different you've made some incredible friends Rachel um Emma and I actually met, um, a, what was 2016? We started talking in 2016, but we really became friends, I feel like, 2017? Oh my god, I don't know. Anyways, so, um, you're gonna have amazing friends, but you're gonna continue to have that network of people, and Rachel, you're also going to get presents from Taylor Swift, you're gonna meet her, and you're just never gonna shut up about it, and if you had told me that I'd get to relive this era and tell you those things like I would have said no way 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 Rachel <laughs> I'm so grateful for everything and I'm so grateful for this era really um and I'm so grateful that I get to relive it it's really special so I love you guys so much thank you guys so much I'm gonna listen to I think a vinyl and kind of clean up a little bit and maybe start editing this for you guys cuz I I just want to like put this out so I can talk to you guys about it so yeah you guys I love you guys so much I can't don't ask me to pick um, a favorite vault song I feel like is it over now it's just like oh point and serve but yeah I can't pick like I love them all so much damn and I love Taylor um, Taylor if you happen to be watching this with your busy schedule um, I love you literally to the moment back if you ever need gratification just come here come here <laughs> but I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching I hope this video entertained you in some way my cat just fell behind the couch I'm gonna go fix her and I hope this video entertained you in some way. Oh, there she is. Okay. She peeked her head out. She Cats are strange. I hope to see you. <laughs> yes, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.